Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look across the studio and see what Chris is up to. No doubt something interesting. In fact, I've been told, in fact, I know, because I can see it from where I'm standing, he happens to have a siren speaker in his hand, and it is the model SA340TS. It's made by Whelan Engineering in Chester, Connecticut, and Chris is going to take it apart. Well, thanks for joining me on SirenNet Television, and thanks for the nice introduction, Stuart. I have here the Whelan Engineering's SA340TS 100 watt siren speaker. Fantastic unit, nice heavy duty, flat mount bracket here for easy bolt on. Works great in fire trucks, heavy rescues, large SWAT rigs, Italian chief trucks, and brush trucks as well, not to mention wreckers and DOTs. What I'm going to do is give you a quick overview of how the speaker itself disassembles and how you would do a driver change should you ever need to. So the 340 TS, to start things off, I'll unscrew the center cone. Go ahead, remove that. Inside, between the polycarbonate housing and the top cone piece, there's a thin paper gasket that acts as a spacer. Go ahead and remove that. Polycarbonate housing here. You can see it's a molded one piece. On the threaded extension of the driver, you have another paper washer spacer and also two metal spacer washer rings. Go ahead and remove those. The driver itself, as you can see here, is held on to that cast mount bracket by four Phillips screws. I'll go ahead, remove those. They are in here nice and snug, so make sure to take a little bit of pressure when first loosening the screws. Third one there, as you can see, it's nice and tight from the factory. And finally, the fourth screw. Small Phillips head screw here. Again, a little lock washer, part of why they're on there so nice and snugly. The bracket itself, as you can see here, it's got a lot of mounting positions to run bolts and screws through. Center hole where the driver affixes. And this is your 100 watt cast driver. Threaded extension where the components mount. Wiring connects for your lead, for your ground, that are on a slip connect. So for your harness, you can remove the one on your driver, take your new driver, and slide your connections back onto it. And if you're curious what this is exactly, as far as a model number, SD210R. If you ever need one, give us a call, ask for the SD210R siren driver, and that's what you'll need. So now that I have the 340 all disassembled, I'm gonna go ahead, quickly reassemble the unit as well. So I'll take my driver, reposition it onto the bracket here. I will realign the mount holes coming from the driver to the speaker bracket itself. I'll go ahead, take my first screw, put it in so I can get the driver threaded onto the bracket. Again with the second here. and the fourth screw as well. So I'll go ahead, snug the four screws down.
So now that that's been reaffixed, go ahead, <clears throat> take my metal and paper washers. Metal washers will go on first as a pair here. Paper washer, black polycarbonate cone. Second paper washer. And the cone piece, screw it all back together. And go ahead, give this a nice twist firm so everything's on there nice and tightly. So there you have it. Wheelins SA 340TS 100 watt siren speaker. How the driver is removed and how a new driver will go in. How the unit reassembles. Again, I'm Chris. Thanks for spending some time with me on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate that. And thanks to you for watching SirenNet Television.